Hi everyone. So we're looking at 6.4 day one, which is another set of word problems. Uh, we're going to first look at these that we've kind of already done some similar to these before. So I want you to take a second, read the problems, set up your let's demonstrate equations, and solve it. Pause the video so you don't see the answer too quickly. And uh, let's see if you get them right. Okay, so let's take a look at the first one. And if you notice in the first one, they are asking for you to find two numbers. What are the numbers? So your lesson limits are first number and second number. They are also giving you the sum of two numbers is 23. So here is your first equation. Your second equation is if one of the numbers is halved, the sum will become 17. Here you go. So I multiplied by negative 2 to get rid of the x. Eliminate the x. You get the y. Plug it back in, and your numbers are 11 and 12. Okay, let's look at the second problem. So you're looking for your length and your width. Your first equation has to do with your perimeter. And if you remember, the formula for perimeter is 2L plus 2W. Your second equation is the length is 4 times the width. This one you can use substitution, substitute it in, you get your width, plug the width back into here, and you get your length. Okay, if you look at this one, it says Sarah is 25 years older than her son Gavin. In 10 years, Sarah will be twice Gavin's age. How old are Sarah and Gavin now? Well, first, we have to find our let statement. So we're trying to find Sarah's age. and Gavin's age. If you look at our equations, the first one says Sarah is 25 years older than her son Gavin. So Sarah is 25 years older than Gavin. I shouldn't have used S and G when I had X and Y. Sorry about that. My second equation says in 10 years, Sarah will be twice Gavin's age. So again, Sarah will be twice Gavin's age in 10 years. But I not only have to add 10 years to Gavin's age, I also have to add 10 years to Sarah's age because both of them are going to be 10 years older in 10 years. And it's not two times Gavin's age and then 10 years later. It's 2 times Gavin's age in 10 years. So you do the y plus 10 before you multiply by 2. So to solve this problem, you should distribute the 2. And since this one is already solved for x, let's go ahead and solve for x. So I'm going to subtract 10. Oops. And I end up with x equals 2y plus So now this would be very easy to use substitution. So I can substitute this in for this x. So 2y plus 10 equals 25 plus y. Get the y by itself and combine the y's first, obviously. Subtract the 10. So that means Gavin is 15. And if I plug 15 back into here, I get Sarah's age, which is 25 plus 15, so 40. Oops, equal, sorry about that. So Sarah's age is 40, and Gavin is 15 years old. Here is one of the problems using uh, money, which we have gone over, so take a second and try to solve this problem. Make sure you pause your video. Okay, so we're back, and if you notice, our let's statements are quarters and dimes, the number of quarters, number of dimes. So our first equation has to do with how many there were, q plus d equals 77. Our second equation is what they're worth, so don't forget to attach the values, so 0.25q, 0.10d equals $12.50. Move over the decimal twice on each one. So you end up with 25Q plus 10D equals 1,250. These are all divisible by 5. 
So we get 5 cubed plus 2d equals 250. Multiply this one by negative 2 to eliminate the d. So we get negative 2q minus 2d equals negative 154. The d's eliminate. 3q equals 96 and q equals 32. And since we're only looking for quarters, that's all we had to do. So there are 32 quarters. I don't need to plug it back in because I'm not looking for the dimes. So this is a new type of problem. This is called a mixture problem. And the way that we're going to set these up is we're going to use these this little diagram. And if you want, uh, you can just do boxes, which is what I do a lot of times. I'll just draw a box plus a box equals a box. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at our question. And we have percentages assigned to each of these boxes. So it says one antifreeze solution is 20% alcohol. Another antifreeze solution is 12% alcohol. How many liters of each solution should be combined to make 15 liters of antifreeze solution? That is 18% alcohol. So right here, 18% alcohol, that is your total because you're combining two parts to make a, a whole. So I'm going to attach that 18% to this last one over here. My 20% is the first one that was mentioned, so I'll put 20% here. And my 12% is the second one that was mentioned, and the 12% and 20% are going to be combined to the 18%. Okay, so let's, let's come up with our let statements. We're looking for how many liters of each solution. So let x equal number of liters of 20% solution. Let y equal number of liters of 12% solution. Okay, so now my x is a 20% solution, so it's going to go with the 20%. My y is a 12% solution, so it's going to go with the 12%. And they gave me a total of 15 liters. So notice how we have percent, 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 liters, liters, and liters. So here's how we're going to make our equations. Our first equation is going to be the quantity. So right here, x plus y equals 15. Our second equation is going to then attach our percentages to every single number. So 20x plus 12y equals 18 times 15. I don't have a variable there, but I still have to multiply them together just like I did with the others. So now, let's see what 18 times 15 is. Okay, so we get 270, so we have 20x plus 12y equals 270. These can all be divided by at least 2. So now we have 10x plus 6y equals 135. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve I'm going to multiply this equation, I'm going to multiply by 10. And the reason I'm going to multiply by 10 is because I think 10 is just an easier number to work with. So multiply by negative 10 to solve this. So now we have negative 10x minus 10y equals negative 150. These cancel, I get negative 4y equals negative 15, so y equals 15 over 4, which I will then change to 3 and 3 fourths, which is 3.75. And then I can plug that back into here, the x plus y equals 15, x plus 3.75 equals 15, subtract the 3.75, and x equals 11.25. So we have, so we need, you need 11.25 liters of 20% solution. 
and 3.75 liters of 12% solution to make 18, and oh, I'm sorry, 15 liters of 18% solution. So let's recap. Again, we attach our percentages, 20%, 12%, and 18%. Then we know we're looking for these two different liters. So uh, X is our first one, Y is our second one. We're going to combine those two to make 15 liters. Come up with our equation, so the X plus Y equals 15 is our first equation. Then attach your percentages, 20X plus 12Y equals 18 times 15. You must multiply the last two numbers. And then you solve the problem like a regular problem. So I'm going to give you one for you to try. Go ahead and read this problem. See if you can come up with it. Make your boxes blank plus blank equals blank. Fill in the boxes and see what you can do. Make sure you pause the video so you don't see the answer. Okay, so here's your answer. Your let statements are over here. Uh, X is the answer to 2%, Y is the answer to 5%. You attach your percents because I said you're combining the 2% and the 5% to make a 3.2%. Total of 25 ounces. So our first equation is X plus Y equals 25. And then we attach our percents. So our second equation is 2X plus 5Y equals 3.2 times 25. 3.2 times 25 is 80. So we end up with 2x plus 5y equals 80. Multiply this equation by negative 2 to eliminate the x. Or you could have multiplied by negative 5 to eliminate the y. I eliminated the x's. We got 3x equals 30. So x equals 10. Plug that back in and you get y equals 15. So you need 15 ounces of 5% solution and 10 ounces of 2% solution to make 25 ounces of 3.2% solution. Tomorrow we will go over any questions, so make sure you put a star next to any of the ones that you didn't understand. And go back and look at the notes that are posted online. Everything is worked out if you need to take a second to look at all the work. Also, the answers to tomorrow's classwork is in there, so if you want to practice with some of those problems, you can as well.